The president of Costa Rica, Luis Guillermo Solis, has flown to Cuba, hoping to expand economic ties between the two nations. But the talks will likely be dominated by an ongoing migrant crisis. Thousands of Cubans trying to reach the United States stranded in his country. CCTV's Michael Voss reports. Costa Rica was the last country in Latin America to restore diplomatic relations with Cuba and this first official visit by President Luis Guillermo Solis was originally intended to boost trade and cooperation. We've come to promote commercial exchanges and make this historic relationship both productive and fraternal, President Solis told reporters at the airport, but added that the issue of migrants was now on the agenda. Up to 5,000 Cubans are currently stranded in Costa Rica. Many came overland from Ecuador, where they don't need visas, paying human traffickers to take them to the Mexican-U.S. border. Last month, Costa Rica arrested a people smuggling gang, and now neighboring Nicaragua won't let the Cubans through. Many Cubans are afraid that now that the United States has restored diplomatic relations with Cuba, Washington will end the preferential treatment which gives Cuban migrants free entry to stay and work in the U.S. There were unprecedented protests in Havana recently when Ecuador announced that Cubans would now need visas to enter the country in a bid to stem the flow. But hundreds of Cubans had already spent their life savings on air tickets and demanded visas or their money back. Ecuador now says it will give them visas. President Solis has promised not to deport the migrants in Costa Rica back to Cuba, but is having trouble finding alternative solutions. President Solis will meet Cuba's leader, Raul Castro, on Tuesday, but there appears little the authorities here can do beyond trying to stem the mass exodus while pressuring the United States to end its preferential treatment of Cuban migrants. Michael Voss, CCTV, Havana.